it's been a long time we spoke to each other like shared some stories and just had a nice talk and chit chat with each other right yeah we've made a lot of tutorials and you know kind of like cinematic videos and all but this video is going to be a story video look in this video everything is not going to be like point to point like it is in some other videos but this is gonna be completely a uh, you know different type of video like just sharing your stories i will share my stories and give you some of my experience tips and what mistakes you should avoid so that you can you know excel in your career with photography and filmmaking also if you have your own stories please don't forget to write it down in the comment below and it would be really fun for each other's to you know know each other's story so it will be fun but before that you know what's coming right who are my subscribers from very first they may know that i started with mobile photography and mobile filmmaking i made few videos with just mobile phones like when i'm talking about videos i mean the cinematic videos i did not used to make tutorials then because it was kind of like i was just a beginner and i was just trying my hands on it and i made some good videos i will not say they are good but yeah uh, like you know so those videos were made just with a smartphone and by smartphone don't like think it was an iphone or something it was a very budget very budget smartphone and the camera was good not that great obviously but i learned many things and then also i did mobile photography so my first videos on my channel like for like i guess many videos are only shoot through mobile phone and the photos also you will see in my instagram at first also if you haven't followed me on instagram yet then you know the link will be in the description below and also you will just have some fun looking and just you know exploring what i do what type of photos i take and it will be fun so what was i talking yeah so you know uh all of my photos in the instagram like were just with mobile phones but then a time came one year back like december 2019 when i bought my first dslr and just started using it like you know i was very excited about it because i always wanted a dslr and then when i finally got it i was so happy i was so like you know ah uh, what's a shot it was like extremely good moment for me i just quickly grabbed the camera went outside took some photos knew nothing about you know how to handle a dslr though i knew what aperture meant because obviously it was not like i uh, used to do mobile photography like just click on the capture button and that's all no it wasn't like that i had a good knowledge about uh, aperture then shutter speed and iso and in film making like what fps means i did not use the actually uh, the inbuilt camera application because you can make videos with that and also photos with that but still i think the inbuilt camera app is not that great it doesn't allow you to do all such things yeah the you can do some things but you alt and you know and then you cannot just click in draw and always draw was my very much priority at that time because i had known the you know importance of shooting in raw so i used some third party applications in my smartphone to shoot in raw and just you know have the flexibility of changing everything in my mobile phone obviously you cannot change the aperture everyone knows that you cannot change the aperture in a smartphone but rest like the white balance and like the shutter speed and like uh, iso i wanted to have that flexibility and i got it through third party applications so i had the prior knowledge of little 
technical things but at the end of the day i didn't know how to handle a dslr and you know how lenses would matter and how much like what is the workflow basically of it but then i just went shooting here and there and just practice a lot and it's been now one year i'm using a dslr and i have taken a hell lot of videos and photos all of them are not great even like i guess 50 60% things are not that great but some things turn around great some things turn around good and i share them with you also i learned a whole bunch of new things with the dslr because i still remember i used to just go to youtube and just search before that like how to take so this type of photos in a smartphone but now the keyword smartphone has changed now everything was in place but instead of smartphone i was typing in dslr and that had a good feeling like you know i am owning a dslr and now i'm going to practice practice and practice a lot and i think i did a decent job with the practice learned a lot of things actually committed a whole lot of mistakes and you cannot avoid mistakes right people say you will avoid mistakes just avoid mistakes and you will excel in life actually you cannot avoid mistakes but what the best part is learn from those mistakes recover from them as soon as possible and just move on in your life and the most important thing is to not to repeat those mistakes because you know at the end of the day mistakes in your life teach you the most important part then the success itself then slowly by slowly i learned a lot of things about like camera settings i i had a prime knowledge as i said about things but you know after you practice a lot with the dslr and the camera then you know you get much hold of it so that was my phase i was learning a whole lot of new things i actually uh, gave much more attention in composition like how to frame my things how to you know i have some different perspective than some other like anyone my friend or something how to have that different perspective unique perspective which will you know make me stand apart make me stand up make me you know stand away from the crowd it was just 2 3 months i practiced a lot with the dslr and then a pause came with the pandemic situation i was not able to go outside i took some photos in my home with like few things and all i was continue doing some tutorials and other type of videos in my channel but with photography i was kind of like stuck and i didn't know actually what to do all i was doing is just go into the terrace click some pics of mine and that's it that's it but then the time went like this for a couple of months and then when things started to you know regulate a little bit more than the you know the first phase of the pandemic situation then i thought to not to stop here yeah it was bad it was not that great couple of months but i cannot make it even worse so again i started going outside and you know clicked a lot of different pics i was really able to click some nice pictures now and that made me more confident i wanted to work harder to go as much as i can for that one frame for that one pic because that's madness if you are not mad in photography then you cannot have that unique perspective what will be the difference between then a you know tourist or something and you know and in you so it has to be different from others and that pushes me a lot in photography i try to find that unique perspective i try to find that unique frame unique angle like my theory is like my uh, uh kind of ideology is if like i go to a place and everyone knows this place still i will click such a frame such an angle maybe that people will still ask which place this is and i will say them this that this is the this place and they will be like oh okay that's great and i want this from my photos 
you know that's that's when you really stand apart from the crowd so i learned the camera settings i learned the composition and slowly by slowly i was also developing in the editing skills editing is something which i was very bad in at first i still remember i used to go to the lightroom and tweak every slider and i used to see let's check what the temperature does okay cool let's check what the clarity does Huh. Nah. So it <laughs> my workflow was like that. I kind of find it very funny now. So what actually changed is like the mindset with which I'm editing right now. At first, you know, like one year before, I used to like you know click a pic, go into the Lightroom, and just make changes to every slider and see what looks the best. and now my approach is i have a predefined imagination going on in my mind and with that imagination with that approach with that thing how i want my pic to look like i just you know uh, tweak the sliders in that way only to have that look which is predefined in my mind and that approach helps me a lot to improve my editing skills because then it's not like a hit and trial method it's like more defined and more confined way and you know where you are going but in hit and trial uh, you know method you don't know where you are going it's like yeah if that's good that's good if that's good that's great it's something like that but you don't have that you know perspective or you ha- don't have that you know idea how your how you want your image to look like so that approach has changed and i think that helped me a lot in improving my editing skills now every image i click i have a predefined you know imagination that i want this pic to look like this and i will do then uh, the editing based on you know what things i have to change to make it look like this my composition has changed a lot in like one year you can just you know I, as i said you can just go into my instagram go to one year before post like in my feed and you will see the difference from you know now and back then so there's a lot of difference i can see the difference and my friends can see the difference so my story my journey has been a has been full of excitement till now and i want to actually get excited more i want to enjoy more and i'm hoping in 2021 2022 and in upcoming years to have a lot of fun more than what i'm having right now comment down your stories below so that we can chit chat with each other and know each other's stories you know reading each other's stories is a lot of fun it's like ah uh, it just you know <laughs> so at last i just want to say don't give up